Hello guys, it's Laura and you are watching Laura X Annie and I'm just realising I'm blending into my walls. And today I'm here with my scrapbook. I started scrapbooking earlier this year. Um, I was so inspired by it, I just really wanted to scrapbook and I couldn't help myself. So I went on to Paper Chase and I found, I found this. So it's like a holographic um, big scrapbook with black pages. Um, if I was, I'm going to buy another one for 2019 and I think I'm going to go with the normal brown ones um, just because as much as I love this one, I uh, it gets battered on the front and I think I would just love another one that was not have black pages so you could do more colours I guess. Um, but this was £14 from Paper Chase and it's quite full at the moment. I'm going to show you some pages and then later on in the video stick around because I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to do one of my pages. But if you're like me and you are extremely organised you will know exactly what you want to put in your scrapbook. So this is what I have this for. It literally says scrapbooking in the front and it's a folder full of different things. So the first two pages are magazine cutouts. I hoard magazines so then I cut out little bits of magazines to pop in. Um, then we have London 2014, London 2015 and it's just like goes, goes through the years. I have movie tickets, cinema, concerts, Florida, 2015 events, HNC, Taylor Swift, HND, uni first year, family, me, loads of photos of me to put in in different bits, Twitter, Friends from School, Shakespeare, Hiddles, Celebs, Landscapes and Nature, Selena, Quotes, Other, Cumberfluff, there's just loads, Harry Potter, there's loads. Um, so I just put them all in like little sections. And then in this lovely co-op bag, other supermarkets are available, um, I have loads of things that I use. So. Some of these are really new, like these craft embellishments, so little lovely diamonds. I got these from the range <laughs> and they're really nice. So I thought for like pages, also from the range, some rainbow stickers, a little queer heart. Uh, scissors, obviously, had them for ages. Pret stick, of course. Washi tape uh, from the range. Glitter pens from the range. Uh, little pegs, to, they're really cute, I just got them, they're from the range. Little mini envelopes from the range as well. My uh, Zoe Sug book signing thing. These are from Paper Chase 500 photo corners which are really good if you want to put a photo in your scrapbook that is maybe special to you and you don't want to lose it so you can still take it out but it's still in your scrapbook. And then just loads of Sharpies and metallics and normal felt tips. These are from Paper Chase. Uh, these were two fifty, and these are just little bits of card. Um, and then a couple of things in here are still to go into, like later on. So let's have a look at the scrapbook, and I'll show you the first page. So this is what it opens up into, if you can see. Um, so yeah, it's just a kind of about me page. We have David Bowie up at the top. Uh, we have an edit that my friend made at the bottom, we have a Taylor Swift poem and then if we go here, this is London 2014. Um, so this was the first time I met Maddie and we have uh, me and my mum at Tower Bridge, The Globe, me and Ryan getting ready to go see Wicked, me and Martin Freeman, me at Baker Street, well North Gower Street anyway. Uh, let's skip on a bit and see if there's any more. Aha! This is my six year at school and Zante, my six year holiday that I went on. Uh, the less said about that the better. Oh, so this is what I was meaning about using the photo corners. So actually, <laughs> on Thursday, so two days after you watch this video, um, it's going to be the third anniversary of my grand passing away. So this is a thing wholly dedicated to her, but all of the photos are in, apart from this one here, are all stuck down with the little photo corners. Oh no, that one's actually stuck down with a photo corner as well, but I do have copies of that, but all the other ones I don't have a copy of. And I just saw loads of photos have slipped out, and I don't know where they're from. Oops. 
Um, and then I do like a double page spread for all my best friends. So this is Leah's. So yeah, um, so it's a lot of fun to do. I do enjoy it. So let's get on to uh, me doing my Harry Potter tour. Yeah. Okay, so I start with two blank pages and put down the post -it notes of what I'm going to do for those pages. So in this instance, it's Harry Potter tour. Then I lay out what I have. So I have little um, the Goblet of Fire where Harry, did you write your name in the Goblet of Fire? That and my ticket and then I lay out all my photos and then I decide what photos I want to put where. And that's really important so that before you even glue them down, you have two pages and you can see what it looks like. So this is me taking out um, a green piece of card and deciding I'm going to put the Harry Potter um, Goblet of Fire thing on top um, and kind of make that the main piece of the page. Because it says Harry Potter, I thought, well, I'm doing the Harry Potter tour, so I could do that and it would make sense. You see? There is a method to my madness. And then I decided to cut that out just so it wasn't too, you know, big um, to make it a bit small, but just so it had a wee bit of a background. Um, and obviously green is for Slytherin and also green is my favourite colour and also my uni colour. Did you know? Funny that. Very funny that. Um, so I've decided where that's going to go. Um, and now it's just deciding what photos. That one is the night bus, which is from Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my favourite film. The one on the top right on the second page is the Malfoy's uh, dinner with Nagini eating the Muggle Studies teacher. I decided to cut that and, because I thought, you know, I just want the bridge bit, not the bit that shows you that there's a bench underneath it. Also we have the Mirror of Erised and this I decided to cut out the car. I don't know why, I just wanted the car to look like it was flying and I thought it would be very funny if I did that. Um, so that is currently what I'm doing. It is so fiddly and I'm never that good at cutting that out. And if you see little jump cuts in this, it's because uh, my mate was texting me so I was constantly trying to text her back as well. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And am I going to decide what piece of paper I'm going to go with? Am I? Have I decided yet? Yes, I have. Uh, I think I've decided blue. Um, yes, I have decided blue because I think blue looks like the sky. And then again, it looks a wee bit big, but I think I'll glue it down first and we'll see um, if this looks right. And it does. It looks like it's flying. Um, I'm not that much of an artist. I was going. I was considering in that moment uh, of Anne have decided to cut it out. I was considering trying to make uh, draw the Hogwarts Express, but that was not happening. Oops. Um, uh, yeah, so that's what I'd say. And trying to decide where that goes, but I thought next to the Hogwarts Express, then there you go, it's still something. Um, so I'm just deciding where these are going to go. Decide against that one. Uh, this one, yes, I've decided to put this. And it's very fiddly, all this. Try to find out where you're going to put something and what's going to fit um, because I didn't have as many like horizontal a lot of mine well I had a lot of horizontal vertical I have no clue what these are oh horizontal yes so then I'm going to cut this one as well just so it fits and I think it looks good I also like the black and white aesthetic I think it's very nice so this is me just deciding where it's going to go um, because before I glue it down. <laughs> so I think it looks nice the way it is. And now we're going to cut to me gluing them down. Now they're all glued down so it's now time to decorate. Um, so I'm going in with the washi tape from the range uh, and I'm going to try and make like a almost frame around um, the second page bottom. That's what I'm doing there. That is the bridge, I think, that they walk over. I always just think of Remus Lupin talking to Harry on that bridge, but they've had loads of scenes on that bridge. That's also where um, Cedric comes up to Harry and goes, it's a good place for a bath, about the prefix bath. You're just going to get facts about Harry Potter in here because I can't be arsed to find background music. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm doing in this bit. Um, yeah. 
I like washi tape, but I could never find any nice washi tape, and this was probably the best washi tape I've ever had. So go to the range, this was only £3 for like eight. Now I'm on to the gems, oh the gems. Basically, by the end of this, you'll, t you'll be able to see I have no gems left, because I used them all on this page, but not on both pages, just on the left hand side. So this is me trying to decide I was tempted to put it over Lucius's face for some strange reason. Um, you see a theme, I like my greens, and now I just had to go in with the rainbow because I love a good rainbow. Got wee shooting star, little star up there, but I am going to use a shooting star in a second. There we go. Yeah, such an odd place to put it. I shouldn't have put it there. It looks odd. I started to kind of go places and then I realised, oh no, oh no, I've made a mistake. This just does not look right. So you'll see later on how I fix it. I fix it with gems because it just didn't look right. So this is where the gems come in and go, oh right, let's pick a gem. And at the start, I did actually have a rhyme and a reason as to what gems I was going to use. And then there was none. I just decided to put gems here, there and everywhere. And this is where I went in to use the glitter pens. And I realised you can't see them. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let's get a rainbow sticker and stick it on top. And I was considering using one of them and I thought, nah, it's going with the rainbow sticker. <laughs> I know, it's <looks> terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the right hand page looks brilliant and then you look on the left hand page and you're like, oh no. And then I wrote to her and I just didn't think it looked right either. <coughs> And then, of course, the 24th of October 2017, which is the date I went. Such a good date. Um, and then I'm considering, right, drawing a star, even though I could have just used another sticker. But no, Laura wants to be different. And I'm writing the Mirror of Erised, because that is the Mirror of Erised, which is so cool. And you could not get space there. Everyone was just, like, wanting it that bit. And it was so annoying. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going in with the kind of silver washi tape and I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to cover up that bit that says tour. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cover it up again. I'm going to take that rainbow sticker off. Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I pulled half the page off. I'm like, no, do you know what? I'm just going to cover that. I'm just going to cover it. <laughs> it looks terrible. But this is the thing with scrapbooking, if you make mistakes, it's not about what you do and to look nice for anyone else, it's to look nice for you, because it's what you want, essentially. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, I'm just designing to make another frame around it, and I like this colour, it's very um, pearlescent, uh, very pearlescent, like Mother of Pearl that is on Newt Scamander's wand, hey, hey, see, see, rhyme and reason to everything. Just came up with that now. Just between you and me. I just came up with that now. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, but yeah, and then I tried to write tour on there and it didn't work, so I just thought, right, I'll just write tour underneath Harry Potter. And it works just as well. Um, but yeah, and then what you don't see is the fact I go a bit mad with the gems. Just a little bit mad with the gems didn't mean to, I just started and then I uh, couldn't stop with the gems. Yeah, you know what it's like. It's like, oh there's a space, oh there's a space. As you can see, I went mad with the gems. Far too many gems. But this is it. This is the final product. So I'm actually quite happy with it now. I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my scrapbooking. I have done it better. I just couldn't figure out what to use um but i have done it better but to be honest there's no right way or wrong way to scrapbook you just do what you think looks best and yeah so i'll see you guys on friday with my more serious video about traveling to uni and how i am doing and how i cope with my travel anxiety when traveling three hours to uni every tuesday and friday um, but I'll see you guys then. Bye!